want to make a quick video to demonstrate the lifting power of a two-thirds scale PMH perpetual motion holder or 66% scale. Um, this particular customer wanted me to do this test just to demonstrate that it could lift at least 50 pounds. I'm not sure exactly what he has in mind for it, but uh, it's going to Germany and he's getting an extra coil. So um, we got these pretty cool cases that everything seems to fit perfectly so i'm um, excited about getting this first one out of this run uh, we only made 15 of these so he's getting number one um i'll post some pictures and some diagrams and other things like that a little bit later i think i might just devote an entire web page to it with all the specs and, and you know and all the uh all the specs on the wire and those types of things this one's 16 gauge but i think uh to get a little bit higher voltage out of those coils, we're going to go from here on out with 18 gauge. Um, I didn't scale that down because a lot of folks like the 16 gauge wire for a number of reasons. Um, Ed liked it, that's for sure. Um, and I, I've even seen other, you know, scientists write about that particular gauge wire and that it was ideal for um, these types of experiments and those kinds of things. Um, but right now, I want to demonstrate the lifting power um with that i left it packed in there just so you can kind of see what it looks like when it's all done before we ship it i wish i could spend more time polishing these things but you could you could spend a couple weeks polishing it and it still wouldn't you could still feel like there was more to do so um luckily this guy um is excited enough to get it he's ready to just take it the way it is so i could polish this thing forever i think but I got a piece of hex rod, you can see it over there um, in the top left, that's about 40 pounds, but I'm going to weigh it just to kind of demonstrate it, but I got to set the phone down here real quick. Yep, so it was 39.8 pounds, quite large. It's for another experiment that that I've been uh, messing around with here the last few years, actually. Um, and it's interesting to see how these magnetic fields kind of interact um, at all these different angles. But moving on, I'm going to put a couple magnets on these coils just to kind of hold the coils in place. Because I'm going to be turning it upside down. I'm not set up real well here, but hopefully. So that's kind of the setup. I'm just going to put... I'll put two amps at six volts on my little unit here. I like using these. It's quick. It's easy. So that's kind of where it's at. And you can see it's number one there. selfie stick or something. And with just two amps and six volts, it shouldn't short out anytime soon. I wonder if I can do this with one hand. Hopefully you saw that it got up in the air, but uh, I guess I'm not strong enough to, I don't have enough leverage to film it. There we go. Pretty heavy, but no problem, two amps. I mean, 
I think easily with <clears throat> six amps, which the settings on this, six amps and 12 volts could easily lift 100 pounds with those two little coils. So, well, that's pretty much it. That's all I wanted to show you guys.